Hi, I'm Daniel Gritzer from Serious Eats. Hi, I am Sao Young Zhang from Foodie Kitchen of Korea. Sao Young is a contributor to Serious Eats and she's here visiting from Korea right now and she is going to walk us through some of the essentials of the Korean pantry. So first we will start with the Korean mother sauces, chang. The second one is the all sorts of seasoning which is called gajin yangyam. The third one is a salted fish product, it's called as chat. The fourth one is the ingredient for making soup stock and yuksu jeryo. The first group of essential Korean pantry ingredients, the jang. Yes, chang. I'll keep working at that. <laughs> so tell me something about Chang as a as a group. What is what is this? Oh, those are mother sauces of Korea, okay. and the common ingredient for them are soy. Soybeans. So mm -hmm. it's like the fermented soy is the thing all of these have in common. Yes. Um, but they're obviously quite different. So maybe mm -hmm. we start here. Yep. This is a soybean paste, denjang. Okay. Denjang. Yes, and it's a form. Uh, they they use cooked soybeans, you know, to ferment. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is the liquid form of a soybean. Mm -hmm. Soy sauce, uh, ganjang. This is a uh, gochujang, chili, chili paste. Gochujang, yes. chili paste. So the thing for me is like, and, and we were shopping yesterday, when I get into the Korean market and I'm looking at this wall of shelves mm -hmm. and it's like, you know, 25 different kinds of tenjang. How do I recognize a quality version mm -hmm. when I'm shopping? For soybean paste, the biggest difference is uh, using wheat or not. Okay. Korean traditional way, we don't use wheat. Got it. So mm -hmm. I want to look for a version that preferably does not have wheat on the ingredient list. If you want to uh, experience a true Korean flavor, then I would recommend without wheat. Without wheat. Should we take a taste of this one? And this is a this is a product that you recommended when we were shopping yesterday because oh. it's um, six month age. Is that yeah, this is my favorite uh, product. Oh, the original name says togu means like a cave. So literally, they ferment this product for six months in mm -hmm. a small cave. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm gonna just take a pinch. Oh, that's a lot. It's, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a salty. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot. <laughs> You okay? You need water? No, I'm good. You good? Tanjang is in mm -hmm. a lot of stuff in Korean cooking, yeah. obviously. You can use it for um, seasoning anything. Mm -hmm. You can season your vegetable or you can season your soup, uh, the other choices of salt. Mm -hmm. But it gives me you know, more nutty flavor. Got it. So mm -hmm. almost like where you're thinking salt, but you want to add all of this yeah. other flavor depth. Mm -hmm. And then so soy sauce is, is kind of a similar thing in terms of trying to look for versions without wheat if you want the more traditional yeah, Korean that's flavor, exactly is that same. right? Yes. This is a traditional way of Korean ganjang soy mm -hmm. sauce, so no wheat in here. And then this one is different how? Uh, it, it contains wheat in here. Okay, mm -hmm. so if we taste, I can just dip my finger? Yeah. Alright, so this is the more traditional one. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's salty. <laughs> <laughs> Seasoning ingredient, yeah. Daniel. <laughs> yeah, I'm going again. The salt caught me by surprise. It shouldn't have. I should have. You need water. Right? Yeah, I need some water. Do Korean okay. people mainly use this one for seasoning your soups okay. or seasoning your vegetables? I'm gonna try this one. Right. Okay. You can. I yeah. can taste that this is sweetened mm -hmm. for starters. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it's salty, but it's sweet, and so it also comes. It comes across as less salty because the yeah. sugar is, is yeah, it's a little balance balancing yeah. that out. So this, one, this one is more for braising your meat or marinate your meat, you know, when you want to bring more sweet flavor. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay, so those mm -hmm. kind of like those, those long, slow-cooked braised meat things, then that this kind of more round sweet flavor yes. is, makes cooking. more sense, mm -hmm. whereas this one is more like seasoning, seasoning stri more like salt. A long time ago, my mom's generation, every single house they used to have in an earthen jar to make this and this and this. I've seen the photos, yeah. the beautiful earthen uh -huh. jars and in your the yard. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. And so then the last one is mm -hmm. the um, gochujang. Gochujang, yes. Ooh. Yeah, it's a no. spicy, salty, sweet, right? Yep, exactly. Spicy, mm -hmm. salty, sweet. If you go to a Korean restaurant, you can easily find like a spicy pork, you know, sauteed, mm -hmm. you know, like or braised some dishes. Mm -hmm. 
fishy uh -huh. dishes. You know, you can use it for many, many, you many, know, many things. Dishes. Yeah. Amazing. Okay, so these yeah. are the these are the the major seasoning product. Okay, so now that we've met the chang, mm -hmm. we've moved on to the next stage, which is sort of the the seasoning. Yes, kajin yang yum. Kajin yang yum. yum. You will get it. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we should point out that the three chang are, okay. are here. So mm -hmm. we have the tenjang, the gochujang, and the kanjang. Kanjang, mm -hmm. the, the soy sauce. Yes. And those they're so important. Yes. That they make up their own group, but they're also a part of this. Yes. Great. Mm -hmm. And so tell me what else we have here that are the kind of essential. Uh -huh. One of the most important thing is garlic, but okay. it should be crushed it, not like, you know, cut, cut mince, mince, because it, when you crush it, it creates more juices. Mm -hmm. So it creates more smells and, you know, flavors. Mm -hmm. And we also have a couple next to the garlic. Uh huh. Toasted sesame seed, uh -huh. it just uh, gives more touch of, you know, nuttiness. Uh -huh. And, you know, crushed uh, pepper powder. Which is basically the, it, when it's more fine, is the powder that goes into yes. the pepper paste. You know something about Korean food. <laughs> yeah. I learned a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is a soju alcohol. Soju. This one only for um, when you cook fishy or, you know, meat. And Korean eats a lot of fish. Mm -hmm. And then also we eat a lot of pork. Mm -hmm. And Koreans particularly don't, are uh, not very big fan of the, like, fishy smell or, like, a uh, Meat smell. Okay. So when you cook meat, we you can see easily we blanch meat right. to get rid of the meat smell. Right. This is why we are using alcohol. Sesame oil is one of the most important things. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And the next one is a sweet agent. I brought a plum syrup. I use this one because it has a little bit of acidity as well. Because uh -huh. you know you brew a plum with the sugar, mm -hmm. so you don't have to touch. You know you don't have to touch with the vinegar at the last minute. Right, because the plum has its yeah. own mm -hmm. natural acids. Yes. And also, this is in the vinegar, you know, all cuisine uses vinegar, mm -hmm. and so I brought another vinegar as well. Uh-huh. Yeah. And here's one more thing. Uh-huh. This is not leek. This is teppa. Teppa. And, yeah. This one is a kind of, you know, father of uh, maybe scallion. This uh -huh. is a giant size of scallion, and Korean cuisine uses this a lot. Wow. Mm -hmm. If you can't find this, you could substitute a, a, With a scallion. scallion. Yes. But, but this is the real deal. Yeah, you can use them. Uh, usually we mix them all together like a first and then make a paste of things and mm -hmm. then you can adopt it to season your vegetables or meat. But none of the recipe recalls everything at one same time. But you can, it depends on your preferences. So if you want to spicy flavor, you can go with this gochujang, mixing with a little bit of, you know, ganjang to give a little more saltiness and mix with the sweetness and then, you know, nuttiness together. And then all those other ingredients just to help a little bit of, you know, building flavor layers. So I'm not always mixing all of these together. Mm -hmm. But it, 90 of, you know, the, those ingredients together. Like 90%? Yep. Mm -hmm. So the third group we have here are the salted uh, Seafood products. Yes. Which you help me with the uh, chat. Chat. Mm -hmm. um, and this is obviously a simpler number of things compared to the uh, first couple groups. So what do we have here? Um, first, uh, we have so many fish, salted fish products. It's over like a hundred. Like oh. you know, it can be a squid or like octopus. You know, so many or uh, fish intestines. So we could have a hundred products yes. laid out here. Right now, yes. But, but the most common thing is uh, salted shrimp. It's not paste, but I don't know why people are calling it as a shrimp paste. That's confused me. Yeah. I've seen that mm -hmm. salted shrimp paste, and then you get it, and you you just see the whole shrimp in there. Yes, it's not a paste. Actually, okay. it's a like you know cured shrimp. Got it. That's more accurate. But that's helpful because if somebody sees a recipe and it says salted shrimp paste, they're talking about this. Right. How do you taste the? Do you? Does Usually, we don't taste no, <laughs> this one too, as itself. It's we, too much, you know, right? Yeah, but you can have in you know, a tiny. One, like one little shrimp? Yeah, one, one little, little shrimp. tiny shrimp. Oh, that's going to be big. That's but but big you one. taste it. Maybe cut it still in has half. It, it still has its shell too, doesn't it? Yeah, it yeah. has a shell. <laughs> <laughs> that is real salty. Okay. And the other liquid sauce is the most common one. 
One is um, anchovy sauce. Okay. Uh -huh. It's a pretty similar to other Asian fish sauce. The other one is a sand lens uh, fish sauce. Okay. Mm -hmm. But those are two most common popular liquid you know, fish sauce in Korea. Easily we can season your soup uh, with those fish products. Uh -huh. Instead of making stock, you know, simply season with those and then it creates it because it already has, you know, very deep like um, umami flavor in right. there. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So this is these are umami bombs. Yes. <laughs> is what we <laughs> always say on this yeah. on series eats. And this one is these are uh, these are different colors here. There, yeah. Are there sort of different intensities and in flavor? Uh huh. This is just a different species of you know fishes. And for my just a personal opinion, the anchovy has more like you know oily, more like a fishy flavor. Uh -huh. And this one, sand lens, this one is more lighter mm -hmm. and it's less fishy. So I often use you know this sauce for making my kimchi, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. rather than using anchovy. Got it. We got group number four over here. Mm -hmm. This is for the... Um, making stock. Making stock. Mm -hmm. um, and in Korean, the stock is called... Yuksu. Yuksu. We have, obviously, there's some, some seaweed here. Yeah, we, in Korean, we say dasima. Dasima. Yes. Got it. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, some dried anchovies? Yes. Those are the main ingredients for uh, making your stock, usually at home. This is, uh, this is pretty big. This one you can purchase either this big size uh -huh. or there is a pre-cut size. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But this one usually, if you have this kind of big things, then you can cut you know, using scissors. This is, is the essential equipment in Korean cuisine. <laughs> scissors, you cut everything with a scissor. Do you have a preference for getting starting with the big size and cutting at home or buying pre-cut? Um, it really doesn't matter, but usually the pre-cut one is a thinner. But you, if you buy the big ones, it's more thick. And then right. it's mainly for making stocks. I see. Mm -hmm. So what I do usually, I purchase you know, big size, this one, very thick one, uh -huh. and then pre-cut like this, and then store in the uh, fridge, a uh, freezer. You store both of them in the freezer? Yeah. For Korean ladies, you know, freezer is kind of black hole. <laughs> it's like you store everything. My freezer's Maybe. a black hole too. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. The anchovy things, what I do, I purchase huge box of, you know, big, this stock anchovy. Uh -huh. You know how to tell the differences between anchovies? Nope. If you go to the Korean market, there is a, so many different sizes of the anchovies, right? Right, right. Okay, the biggest one like this, as I'm staring at you, <laughs> <Hanyang>. <laughs> this I one, see. yeah, like in the biggest one like this is for making stocks. Okay. And then the next level, smaller, is for sauteing okay. or old, like, you know, old guys, they just, you know, dip it into gochujang and then eat it with their beer. Like a snack. Yeah, like, a, a snack. like a pretzel or mm -hmm. something. And then it gets smaller and smaller. Mostly it's for like a saute for your side dishes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we got the big size, you know, for stock. And usually if you are lazy, then you just put it in like this for <laughs> your stock. But I will tell you the skills. So to make a good stock, you have to open the belly and take out this, you know, head and this. The guts. Guts. We call it as a poop. Oh, really? <laughs> in Korea, we usually say this is, you know, poop. No, it's the liver. <laughs> yeah, the, the guts. <laughs> Take out. So this, this part is the part which creates, you know, bitterness for That's your stock. So make sure right. to get rid of this. So you want to go? So if I try, yeah, mm -hmm. I have the head, I kind of open up the belly. Is that what I do? It's, it's easier to open from the back side. From the spine. Okay, yeah, so from, from the, the spine. spine. So it's okay mm -hmm. if I split it in half. Yeah. Ah, of course. And then the whole thing opens up. See, mine is uh, still look like this. What's wrong with yours, Daniel? Oh. You broke up. Oh, I wasn't supposed to break <laughs> it that much? No, no, no. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm teasing Do you. over. So this is what you do, like, you know, watching Netflix, and then you just, you know, keep peeling off, you know, <laughs> the head and guts, and be ready for your stock. And um, the other tip to make a good stock is you have to roast it. It's the same function like, you know, when you roast your spices, it creates a way more flavor. 
Uh -huh. So it, this one, if you roast and then use for your stock, it gives you more flavor. I'm actually really enjoying this. Here is another pack. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and also, when you make a stock, you have to use you know anchovy and dashima together. Mm -hmm. If you like, you know, oh my god, I don't have a dashima, and then I would just put a bunch of you know anchovies, it will not create the same flavor as much as you know it gives because it has right. a synergy function to mm -hmm. create you know like you know umami bomb together. Right, you need uh -huh. the two together to yeah. get the mm -hmm. the correct flavor. Yeah. It's not the it's not one or the flavor, other. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. those are the pantry essentials right there. Yeah. That's it. Nice.